Hey, Frank Grillo. We're here to see your gym and fridge. Aw, oh, don't be like that, Frank. Men's Health, you back? You want to see my fridge? You want to see my gym? You want to see what I do? Come on. I think I look pretty good, all things considered. Heads up. I know everything that's going to happen. So what are the staples in the Grillo fridge? Some of the staples that I always have in my fridge are, oh, it's crossbones from Captain America. <laughs> ah, good one, Frank. <laughs> now, some of the staples I always have in the fridge, A, eggs, because I live the paleo lifestyle. It's mostly uh, lean meats, lean turkey meat, uh, lean beef, grass fed, lots of greens, lots of greens. I prefer arugula. Being a dad, I have a 13 and a 17 year old son that live here with me. I pretty much will put anything in the fridge because I want to make them happy. What would we never find in your fridge? Things that you'll rarely see in my fridge are things that aren't organic, from even half and half eggs, uh, salad dressing. Usually you'll never see Coca-Cola, soft drinks, in my, in my fridge, except if my little son is coming and I'll sneak one or two in for him. What do you eat for breakfast? Yeah, breakfast is a big issue. And I train in the mornings every day. I train pretty much empty. Uh, oh, this is your basic just add water pancake mix. And I have to tell you something. I, I've make, I make all kinds of paleo pancakes for myself, uh, meaning it's made with almond flour as opposed to really bad white flour. But these pancakes, are the best pancakes and they're fluffy and my kids love them so I make them every day. How do you take your coffee? Since I started doing the show Kingdom, I guess it's about eight years now, I have done uh, what they call bulletproof coffee. And, and this isn't a setup, this is actually how I live my life. Take a pod, put a pod in and uh, you can see these creamers here, they make them with the butter. You could actually, it's, it's like an instant uh, bulletproof coffee and it saturates your, your stomach with fats and your body is full for six or eight hours. Beyond the Bulletproof Coffee, do you take any other supplements? Uh, I do take supplements. I take uh, 10,000 units of, of vitamin D. I take CoQ10, you know, a daily vitamin, and uh, turmeric for inflammation. I do tend to get inflamed a bit, not from the food I eat, but from training. What's your go-to comfort food? It's called pizza. I am a pizza fanatic. We have several places here that deliver what we call New York style pizza that tastes like New York style pizza. And I just became a partner in a pizza place that's been here forever called Larchmont Pizza. And so my family will be eating a lot of pizza. So Frank, do you cook? Yes, I do cook. I like to cook. I love to cook actually. I'm Italian and so uh, Italians eat a lot. I cook everything from pastas, lasagna. I'm a big grill guy, obviously, to eat clean. I think grilled meats are the best thing. Grilled, grilled salmon is a, a staple on our diet. Some grilled grass-fed uh, filet mignons and stuff. I do cook a lot. It is a zen, it's kind of a zen practice cooking for me to, to uh, just focus on that. It's, it's kind of like I, why I love boxing so much. It's, it's because it's repetitive. You focus. Well, since you brought up boxing, should we hit the gym? Now would be the time of day that I'd usually uh, finish up my bulletproof and I would uh, hop in my car and go to the gym. But we're gonna do it in my backyard today because I don't have time to get to the gym. And this is what you have to do. So this is the backyard. And uh, I use this pool a lot, uh, as do my dogs. But uh, you know, uh, if you have a pool, getting in the pool and doing laps is great. It's probably the best exercise you probably do. So how do you typically start your workouts? Prob I usually shadow box three rounds, uh, three minute rounds, three three minute rounds, about 10 minutes of getting yourself uh, a little bit tired, a little bit sweaty, and then we put the gloves on. That doesn't look like a normal punching bag. This bag is uh, what they call an aqua bag. It's filled with water and it's anatomically, is a good word, the closest to a human body. <laughs> Frank, what inspired you to get fit? What inspired me to get fit? I have been a fitness fanatic since I can remember. My parents bought me weights when I was probably 10 years old, back when Lincoln was president. 
And uh, I've always been conscious of diet. I've always, there's a certain aesthetic that I, when I was younger, wanted to have. And it was just, it's just been a lifelong quest for, you know, being fit. How do you keep that core so marble strong? Stretch my core by using these balls here. You literally stretch the muscles in your core. And then I like to go up into a pike and usually go about 10 minutes on the ball and I roll back and forth. And then I also have any number of, you can do this with weights, you can do this with these, you can do this with a roller where uh, I'm down on the ground and I'll do five sets of 10. Again, just stretching the core. Now that your core is stretched, we're gonna hit you with some rapid fire questions while you beat up that bag. Yes. First up, running the treadmill or running the great outdoors? Always the great outdoors. Always, always, always. Biggest compliment, jacked, ripped, swole, or cut? Biggest compliment is uh, is ripped. Time to hit the gym, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? 7 a.m., workout time, 7 a.m. Squat or deadlift? Both, squat and deadlift. Favorite song on your workout playlist? The Who, Eminence Front. CrossFit, yay or nay? CrossFit, nay. Dumbbells or kettlebells? I would say dumbbells. Cardio or weights? Absolutely need both cardio and weights. If you could work out with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? That would be my guy, Mr. Governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Last one, big legs or big arms? I say all about proportion and balance. We have something in West Hollywood that's really funny, which is the guys with these amazing big upper torsos and they have dental floss for legs. Hey guys, thanks for coming by my house. Uh, letting you in my refrigerator was fun. I gotta go do some things, but uh, I'll see you next time.